today I want to have a look at building a microphone and a microphone amplifier. So for the microphones themselves I'm going to be using these little uh, condenser cartridges. So these are Panasonic. I bought them a long time ago from DigiKey. Um, just these little capsules here. Let's see if we can get one out. Tiny little things here. They're like three and a half times six millimeters or something. And there are two connections here. So I want to be a stereo microphone. And I would like it to fit into this box here. And I have some prototyping board here that should fit in here. There's a small rail in this box, so this fits very nicely in here. And I want to power it from a single battery. These are just uh, old phone batteries. Well, I think it's new, but um, it's, I think, for an old Nokia phone or something like that. Anyway, so the amplifier schematic is going to look something like this. So if we have our microphone capsule over here, so these have two connections. One is the signal and one is just going to be the ground. So keep in mind, we, since this is just a single battery, uh, can expect something like 3 to 4.2 volts out of this battery. Um, we're not going to have any split rails, so we need to take that into consideration in our design. So, these microphone capsules, they need to be powered. So it's going to be powered through a resistor here. And then we will have our uh, battery voltage here. And then we're going to need a coupling capacitor here, because at this point, the uh, signal is going to have some DC on it. After our coupling capacitor, we're going to uh, make the signal from the microphone capsule swing around half the uh, battery voltage. So we're just going to add a couple more resistors here. Uh, battery voltage here. And this goes to our ground. So at this point here, if this is zero volts, level, and up here we have our battery voltage, then at this point here we're going to have our signal is going to be somewhere around here. At this point here, so our coupling capacitor is going to block all the DC, and then we can set the level so it's going to be um, exactly or pretty close to swinging uh, just at half the battery voltage. So after that we can feed it into an op amp. Going to have plus minus here, going to have our output. So our op amp is just going to be powered from our battery voltage and down to ground. <clears throat> and we're going to have some feedback here. And we need to set the gain. So I want to have some variable gain here. So we will have a maximum gain and then we're going to have a pot here and the level here really needs to be the same as our DC level here but an easy way to do that is just put a capacitor here and we go down to ground so this is going to amplify and then we can adjust the gain here 
So I think if we do something like 100k here, uh, 4-5k here, and maybe 20k here, it's going to give us an adjustable gain from something between around 20 times down to uh, 4 or 5 times gain. So that is probably uh, pretty good. The output from the microphone capsule, yeah, it can swing uh, quite a lot, uh, but depending on the level. So I really want this microphone to just general, general purpose, uh, recording voice, etc, etc. So um, on the output of our, of our op amp here, uh, we're just going to put a resistor. So this resistor is just going to prevent um, overloading the op amp's output in, in case uh, we short the short the output here. So it's just a protection. We're just going to use a hundred ohm here, and since this signal is now going to be swinging, just like our input signal, but amplified. It's still going to be swinging around uh, half the battery voltage, so we still have DC on this signal. So we're going to need another coupling capacitor here, and then we can reference it to uh, ground level here. So use another 100k resistor here, and this will be our output, uh, amplified output, uh, lower impedance. Um, line level output here. So this is pretty much the whole uh, amplifier schematic. Let's put some more values on here. I'll just use 100k here as well. And the powering of the microphone capsule here with a voltage around 3 to 4.2 volt uh, DC I would say maybe something uh, 4K6 or something like that. 4, 5K uh, resistor here uh, should work pretty well. The data sheet says if you have a 2 volt here, you should use a 2.2K uh, resistor. So I think this will probably work well. I don't think it's super critical, but it has to be. Uh, in in the ballpark okay so I'm just gonna start building up um, the circuit on this little board here and then we'll try to test it out and see how it goes so power consumption wise this is specified the capsule here so there's a fit in here uh, for uh, I guess impedance uh, translation in here and that's that's why we need to to power it um, so it has a lower impedance uh, output uh, but it should consume around half a milliamp the op amp um, I've chosen uh, based on what I have already so I'm going to be using a TLC to 7L2 I think it's it's called it will operate down to uh, 3 volt DC I think it's uh, 16 volt down to 3 volt DC it will operate so it should work well for this purpose it's not super low noise but I think it will be okay for uh, what we're going to be using it for here so yeah time to start building uh, heat up the solder iron and let's get going.
Okay, so here we have a um, complete device. So it's it's stereo. I don't know if I remember to, to mention that before. Um, so just gonna use some uh, phono uh, connections here. So this will be input and output, input and output. So two more microphones for stereo and then we have the output in the center here. We have our power here. I'm just gonna power it up from our bench supply uh, initially. And here we have the uh, gain level uh, potentiometer. So it all fit uh, nicely on this little board here. So if, let's try connect it and see if it's actually working. Okay. So I've set my bench supply to um, 4 volts, 30 milliamps, and just really low. So in case there's a mistake on the board here, uh, we're not going to fry anything. Okay, so it's not consuming any power whatsoever. Uh, well, a little bit, but uh, the power supply says uh, 0 milliamps, uh, which makes good sense. Um, so, so far so good. So we just need to hook up a microphone and um, line out here so we can see if it's actually working. Okay, so we've got everything connected here. Line out, uh, two microphones. So I just, very simply, I just soldered two uh, capsules onto a couple of cables here. Um, not ideal but it should work. So let's try have a listen and see what it actually sounds like. Test one, two, three, test, test, test. So it should be in stereo now as well. So let me just try and move my head a little bit. Test, 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 test. So I cannot actually hear what it sounds like right now, but hopefully I got the level reasonably right and it should sound better than the uh, normal camera microphone. Okay, so I think that's enough for this video. So the next video um, is going to be mounting everything uh, in the case, uh, getting the battery hooked up, um, some on-off switches, get the volume uh, mounted here in the box, um, all the phono connections here and um, also a small charging circuit for the battery. So this battery is says uh, the capacity is 890 milliamp hours. So that should allow something like uh, four or 500 hours of <coughs> usage on a single charge. Um, so that should be sufficient. I'll probably add an LED just so I don't forget to switch off the amplifier so it won't drain the battery all the way down. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching and part two coming soon and have a nice day. Bye bye.